Well, I did it a fourth time. You know, I have some days where I'm really on a roll and I do these videos and I don't make those kinds of technical mistakes, but today was not one of those days. <laughs> so whatever's going on in the universe, I'm, I'm, I'm full of glitches today. But um, at any rate, the point that I was, I thought I was trying to make was referencing, you know, what the value is of understanding a past life, you know, or, or trying to get insights of a past life. Because if I had indeed been put to death or died as a consequence of something that was, you know, punishable, right? Particularly as a woman a thousand years ago, that would have been shocking. Um, it might explain why I'm pretty reticent, you know, and pretty, um, all my life kind of been, I love people and I'm very friendly and I think a lot of people care about me and I care about people, you know, but I really keep to myself and I mind my own business. And that could be something that I brought with me from this other life. Because if I, you know, died, especially if I died, you know, um, because of something, you know, that I did where I stepped out of line or where people thought I stepped out of line or if I, um, you know, was disruptive to society to the point that they felt that they had to eliminate me, I, I think that kind of wound or that kind of experience would prevent somebody from wanting to, you know, be a, you know, a, a social, what's the word, a social butterfly, you know? I think a, a person like that would choose their friends in their inner circle very wisely and you know and that is who I am is this, it, you know so it kind of makes sense you know about how that life if this is true how that life came forward with me in this life and in, in describing my personality characteristics now I know that these videos I think there's now four of them <laughs> they're all I'm going to make a playlist and the playlist is going to be called past life reading and um, and I will reference each link to each of them to get, you know, in, in each one so that you'll be able, hopefully, to figure out how to watch one, two, three, and four. And I hope you're interested enough to do that. And I do apologize if you feel as though I've just been talking about myself, but I used myself as a subject. And, you know, I could have made up a fictitious person. Um, and done a demonstration like that, but I wouldn't know all the in and outs of that make-believe person, you know, and I know the in and outs of myself, and so that's why, and so I hope you don't mind indulging me in um, a reading, a past life reading about myself, um, and I hope you found it interesting, and I hope that you take with you um, a new understanding of how you can use the cards for just not for, for beyond, you know, will I get the job? Will my boyfriend come back to me? You know, that kind of thing. There's so much more that the cards can offer us. Um, and as I said, I, gosh, I'd like never read the cards for those things. Um, you know, only on demonstration do I use the cards for those things when I use myself as an example. But I use the cards for these kinds of things, you know, not, you know, for, for helping somebody tap into, you know, a past life or, you know, what's in my house? Is it my imagination or is or am I sharing my house with somebody you know, that we can't see? Or I'd like to connect with an ancestor, you know. We had unfinished business, and I'd like to know how I can move on from that. I've been doing tarot for a long time. And so to keep it interesting for myself and to, to grow, to grow as, a, as an interpreter of the cards, I had to, um, you know, I had to develop, you know, in, into doing more meaningful readings than... Um, the readings that I was doing, like, say, between the time I was, you know, 16, 17, and even maybe 30, you know, um, just like with astrology, we're not the same person that we're born to, you know, we're born, you know, we, we turn, we evolve as human beings. And 
you know, you, we, we evolve. If you do anything long enough, you, you evolve in that capacity, right? If you were, you know, an attorney or whatever, you, you start out doing certain kinds of cases or whatever, and then you, you get more sophisticated and you, you know, or, or a teacher, you know, you, a, a first year teacher is not as, um, savvy. I mean, I certainly was a much better teacher at the end of my years of teaching than I was in the beginning, although I was always a good teacher, but I got better, you know, as I, um, as I got along. And it's just the same with anything. And that's just the same with tarot. You know, I evolved, you know, as a reader and, you know, my practice took me in other directions. You know, if you're, if you're contacting me about a boyfriend, that's fine. I'll do the most sincere job, you know, but if you really are looking for something like I just mentioned, you know, I'm your girl, you know, because those are the things that really, um, move me these days. Okay. Until next time, friends, peace and stay well.